Hey guys, I just want to start off this video before we get into the drama that there are so many more people way worse off than us. They're still stranded in their houses. There's flooding like crazy. And if you haven't seen JH, he is out there mobbing, saving people, helping as much as he can. I'm going to kind of get into what we're going through, but uh, you know, don't worry about us. We're all completely fine. Our whole family's fine. But I do want to make an announcement that if you or anybody you know that's busting their butt out there, I'm talking emergency responders, linemen, medical personnel that are having dental pain to call me and I will do work on them for free this week. This is, I don't want anything out of this. I just want to help those who are helping other people out. Let's get to it. seen by now but we are in the middle of a category four hurricane called hurricane ian so real talk caroline and i are super super safe in our house we just moved in to brand new home but i'm really worried about my dental office and uh either later tonight or tomorrow morning i'm gonna go down there it's on venice island and so yeah it's about 15 feet up but with the storm surge the building's 100 years old and it's not concrete block it's literally two by fours and drywall and a tile roof that may or may not have leaked. I don't really know, but I'm pretty worried about it. I know we're gonna be safe here at the house. You know, this thing's like a rock, but I'm really worried about my office and I'm counting down the minutes till I can jump in my truck and drive down there. But since it's on an island right now, they have the bridges up. Otherwise I'm probably already driven down there. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's my livelihood. It's how I survive and how I can support myself to have fun like this. And, you know, I don't make much money on YouTube. I definitely spend way more on my cars than I make. And uh, yeah, you know, it's, I love, I love taking care of people and I love taking care of working on teeth. And, you know, the last thing I want to do is have my dream office just get destroyed by a freaking hurricane and it's completely out of my hands. But I guess that's why you have insurance and I do have insurance on it but you know how that stuff kind of goes. They, they will battle it out till the end to try and not get me paid, but I don't even know what I'm getting myself into yet. It's just been running through my mind, so I thought I'd share it with y'all. And uh, As soon as I get down there, I'll record everything on my first walk-in so that we can see if there's any damage. I've never even showed you guys my office before, maybe a little bit here and there, but it's a work in progress and I'm proud of it and I love it and I love my patients and my staff and I'll, uh, I'll show you guys what this journey is about going through these hurricanes living in Florida. All right, guys. Well, it's Thursday at 4.30 a.m., the morning after the storm has ended, and I am up to get on the road, start helping people, drive down to Venice, see what's going on with my dental office, see what people need, see how I can help, get this day rolling because it seemed like we got hit really hard and you know my house we're fine there but let's uh let's get to it oh my god look at this tree that's down in my neighborhood Jesus. on palm leaves that's pretty typical but dang the van is still there shit signs are kind of tilted we got some street lights that are completely out normally these things have a backup battery but not these ones those ones work down there though a couple cars out on the road it's still super early it's only almost 5 a.m but some places have power and then across the street it's completely dark so it's kind of hit or miss who's got power right now all right here's the office it's still pretty dark out, but the building's still standing, so that's good. Uh, looks like got some landscape blowing around. These trees look a little beat up. Let's get out and go check her out. That cover's gone, no big deal. This tree's still, tree's still standing. Looks like we still have a roof. This old tree looks like it blew over. Oh yeah, 
She snapped. Side. Fence fell on the back. Let's go back here. Got my Simply Safe. Thanks, Cletus. Wow, this is at the end of my street. It's completely blocked off. Let's see what we can do to help these people. There's the uh, president of our HOA watching from the comfort of his vehicle. All right, thanks for the help. Let's see what we got going. The Cougar is definitely done for. Parker's Can-Am. Took a little bit of a hit, but... Uh, those nails are pretty crazy. If y'all haven't seen by now, my Can-Am was underneath this building during the hurricane and it fell on top of it. I saw a lot of hate online, people asking like, why did that thing get left outside? Why did the Bald Regal get left outside and the Cougar? Well, the shop was full. There's no real story behind why it got left out. I didn't have room at home because I was planning on working on Dr. Pepper and I already had to have my truck outside, which my HOA hates doing. But hey, if it's my choice to leave my truck outside during a hurricane and my side by side, so what? They are insured and I know it's negligence, but Hey, you know what? I had projects to do, and when you're out of power or there's not a lot to do during a hurricane or you can't even watch the news, you gotta have a project, you gotta have something to do. So I worked on Dr. Pepper, I grinded on that thing, getting it dialed, getting ready for the motor to go back in, and I'll kind of go over the details about what's going on with that car, but let's take a look at my Can-Am. All right, so the trusses of the building were laying on the roof, and these is, the suspension on these, they have a ton of travel, so I think the suspension took most of the load but i know there was stuff laying across the front here and i don't see any, abra any abrasion damage there's a little bit right there but i think that's from when we were pushing each other um the roof just some scuff marks kind of a deep scuff there but i'm blown away how well this thing managed <laughs> the weight of that entire roof there's a little bit of abrasion here no big deal right here oh yeah there's some there's some wear through the paint there but hey if you didn't know or see any pictures of this thing, you would have no idea that an entire building collapsed on top of this thing. It's it's looking really good. I am gonna tell y'all now that my side-by-side -side has been for sale for the past month. I have it listed because I've got some other projects scheming and we really don't ride them as much as I was hoping we would. So if anybody's interested, shoot me a message. These things brand new are like $29,700 before sales tax, before dealer fees. And I've got about probably 37 into it with the wheels and tires, the suspension upgrades. All right, so true beadlock weld wheels with ITP Terra Hook tires. We got the Hen Racing front shock support. It has assault mirrors that kind of swivel, a tinted windshield, We've got a stereo, which I'm not really about to allowed to talk about. Um, motion tree kickers wheels and tires again and then we have these absolute beef dog radius rods and plate and dog bones that support all this so this back end is super super strong um that's pretty much it shoot me an offer i'm hoping to get you know mid to low 30s for it they're pretty hard to get there's not many of them out there and the wait list to order one is is months long so check this thing out it's pretty badass all right so the damage you know i was expecting it to be a lot worse you know, this roof is probably 20, 30 years old and these tile roofs really only have a 30 year lifespan. 
There's debris everywhere on Venice Island. There's trees down, there's power lines down. We don't have power here at the office, but I'm just glad that the building is still standing and it hasn't fallen down. You know, we do have a big leak on the inside, which, you know, I'm gonna get the roof repaired first and we're gonna cut out all that drywall out of the ceiling and, you know, get it fixed up right because it's starting to smell a little bit like mildew. All those paper charts that are there are probably ruined, you know, so we're gonna have to shred those. But, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there, especially those in Naples who are way worse off than we are. You know, we have a lot of friends that have landscaping and, you know, issues with their homes. So instead of working on this place, my plan is to just go ahead and help everyone else. You know, we have a whole weekend. Today's only Thursday. So we have Friday, Saturday, Sunday before Monday hits and people need to get back to work and, you know, get back to their normal lives. It's, it's hard for people to, you know, go through something like this and just get right back to it. So that's what we got to do. We got to help each other out while we can. Just get back to our lives as usual. Let's hit it. Well, I didn't want to have to do this, but it's been 24 hours since we've heard from one of my staff members. Last text she sent us said that they were hunkered down in their pantry with their dogs, and that's the last we've heard of her. So she lives about 45 minutes from me. Everyone else is pretty much blocked in, so I'm headed down with the Jeep. You know, it's lifted and it's got 37s on it. I'm sure they've got water in the streets, but... We're gonna go see what's going on, see if we can't, I can't make contact with them. I brought a bunch of water and food with me in case they need it, you know, depending on if they wanna stay or they wanna leave or if I can even get to them. There's a lot of downed trees, a lot of flooded areas. I know there's people trying to help everywhere, but when it's someone close to you, hey, if you don't help them, who's gonna? And how long is it gonna take for them to get there? So let's go get it. This area doesn't seem like much, but it's definitely the worst I've seen so far. There's shingles ripped off. Every roof, fences blown over, trees. Sheesh. I remind you, never buy one of those PVC fences. Those things blow over like crazy. to conserve her privacy she was safe and so was her husband and all their dogs they were stranded without power without service with nothing the streets were really flooded before and luckily they had drained by the time i got there but we were able to make contact with each other and yeah just just a weird time going on and i know that even conditions now are getting worse because the water's rising with all the water draining from the middle of the state so gosh it's it's crazy out there. Okay, well, I'm sure y'all have seen by now, but we are in the middle of a category four hurricane called Hurricane Ian. And I'm choosing this time to spend working on Dr. Pepper. Instead of sitting around watching the news like everyone else, I thought I better occupy myself by getting some stuff done. So I'm gonna show y'all what I got going. So I've taken it upon myself before getting the motor back in, which actually is ready, but just to clean all this up, I'm completely closing off the firewall patching that stuff off before it was just kind of a ghetto job cleaning all the wiring up through here repainting things i'm going to get two catch cans instead of just having one isolated one and just getting her a little bit more dialed in here's my pizza for the firewall that i've been painting and then obviously this is a real big scary mess but i have the switch panel that you can see in the blazer and mullet that's going to be coming up here just to get rid of all this stuff that sits on the center console and then I also got a, a mil spec wiring harness that I'm doing. So lots of upgrades for this car. They weren't really needed. All the electrical worked fine, but I just want to improve upon it before I get any issues. Hey guys, I'm here with her. We're finally picking up the heart to Dr. Pepper. I've been working on it during the hurricane and it's time to put the motor back in. Yes, it is. It's ready, it's good to go. It's got fresh parts, fresh rings, nice, fresh nice. oil pumps. You'd have good oil pressure. We're waiting <laughs> to see the results. We had bad oil pressure before, if you remember, and I also bent a couple rods. We upgraded the timing to a double chain, and what else did we do? That's pretty much it. New bearings, new rings. New bearings, new rings. Yeah, and through everything, freshened up, honed the block. Honed the block. Uh, double checked everything. And we, uh, did we deck the, deck the heads at all? We decked the heads, we searched nice. the heads, we did a valve job. Cool. Uh, yeah, made sure everything was prim and proper, you know, just cleaned it up. and. Uh, so everyone asking, it's still a 427. <laughs> yes, yes it is. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, let's get this thing back in the car. Thank you, her, for helping yeah, no, me out on this thing. You. I'm excited. and.
I know you are too. So. Yeah, let's get in the car and see what happens, right? You know, the proof is in the pudding. That's right. Let's get it. Here it is. Let's eat. <laughs> show on cameras I realized that the engine mounts were flipped so the engine was sitting way too far forward and I kind of knew looking at it but we had to pull the motor again oh, flip them around oh you knew I knew <laughs> I don't think you did <laughs> man <laughs> and uh we got her back right there was way too much room to work I was actually kind of excited but there shouldn't have been that much change so there it is first motor right going in Jeff, yeah. nice work man all right, let's keep rolling on this thing. We're just kind of getting it back together. I got to get the transmission in, hot side back, put back in, but I kind of want to clean it up before, before she goes back in. But we'll kind of mock it up so we can look at it. <laughs> Wait, it's like nine degree angle. It's oh. off like nine degrees. Yeah, like nine? Yeah. Listen, man, I know my math, okay? What do you think, dude, first time? She's a beaut, isn't she? Yes. Well done. Well, well done, boys. done, boys. Well done. Looks good. Well, I know y'all been asking for that Dr. Pepper content, so there you go. Make sure you subscribe, like, leave me a comment. I got plenty more to do on this car before we fire it up, like slap the trans in and a bunch of electrical work. We'll see you guys in the next episode. As a fellow car guy, I know it's super easy to forget to take care of yourself, especially when you're at the track. We're all drinking Mountain Dew and Dr. Pepper. This toothbrush is only $39. It's a great electric toothbrush. That's what I use every day. Normally they're $59, but if you click the link in the description below or use my coupon code QDNASK, you can get this toothbrush for only 39 bucks. Buy one for yourself, your girlfriend, whoever. They are an awesome toothbrush. It's basically the same thing as a Sonicare except a tenth of the price. So go get one. They send you a new brush at every three months so you don't have to worry about it. It's a great deal.